Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Sim Golf. So this is going to be kind of a supplemental video. Not sure if this is something that I will make a regular occurrence or not. We'll just have to see how the videos start going. But we're just going to play around the golf in this video. So it looks like it's us versus Junkyard Pro. Junkyard Pro does not have very many stats, but he has them where he can where they count in accurate drivers, irons, and putter. I really like playing playing the game. Playing as Gary Goff. Not only is it fun, it lets you maybe ooh, just barely gets it there. It lets you kind of see where maybe some minor adjustments could be made that you might not have noticed just watching the Sims play. Aha! Junkyard Pro goes in the water. Things are looking up for Gary Golf. I don't want to make too many minor changes to the course while we're playing this round since this is not uh, part of the main LP. I mean, I guess it is, but <laughs> I mean, things are happening on our course while this is going on. So if I have to make changes, I will. <laughs> Even Junkyard Pro is impressed by Pamela Panderson's house. Like, if I have to make a an emergency change to stop from someone from storming off the course, I'm definitely going to do it. <laughs> like, this guy looks pretty... Looks like he's not having a great time. But, hey, won the first hole. Things are looking pretty good. I'll be honest, I've actually pl played a few practice rounds before the final recording <laughs> last time. And I have screwed up royally on this shot every time. It's one of the reasons, actually, that I wanted to go ahead and <laughs> fix this hole. But it also gave me some in-depth knowledge about why this hole was, in fact, backing up so much. And I, can e I could easily see why people were screwing up this shot. But now that everyone's going to be making this shot, I really need to figure out a way to make this hole harder down here, I feel like. We have been getting a lot of people that think this shot is too easy. Yeah, yeah, nice shot, buddy. Looks like I can just not quite make it to the hole, but since there's an uphill slope right here, I think taking a high backspin shot still is better. Land on the green just barely, it looks like. Gary Goff wasn't thrilled with that shot, so I'm kind of wondering if he actually did or not. birdie. What is the average on this hole? Dang, it's pretty high up there. Maybe changing this, though, will actually lower that average. Maybe it's even been lowering. <laughs> it was so high. I don't know. So let's see how these changes play. Looks like I could take a fade shot and it would turn out decently at least. Thing is, I still have zero points in my fade shot, so I'm not really... Oh, that's a... wait. This is what I'm looking for, yeah. This would be my fade shot right here. Looks like it would actually be a pretty legitimate shot, but like I said, I do have zero points in it. I think I'll just go ahead and shoot a high back spin shot.
I can't actually add wetlands to the course, just water. I wouldn't even mind making this square right here wetlands, but... It really is fun to play as Gary Gall. It's not overly complicated or challenging or anything, and there's a lot of RNG involved, but... <laughs> you can just kind of... Especially back in when this game first came out, it's like, man, wouldn't it be cool if you could play your golf course? It is. <laughs> Oh, nice. Gary Goff snakes a putt 33 yards into the hole at hole three. Junkyard Pro looks on in amazement. Accurate putter. Up to 50. Like, it doesn't matter how simple the actual playing is. It's just fun. We made the course. We want to play. Lots of breathing room on this shot right here on hole number four, so I think I can go ahead and take a fade shot. And even if it goes horribly wrong, we should still be okay. Looking good. Oh, no, into the sand trap. That's unfortunate. And Junkyard Pro when it goes right into the sand trap. Wondering if I should mess with the elevation around here or if I'm just being salty because I went and <laughs> because I rolled into the sand trap. I don't think it's such a bad thing for people to end up in the sand trap here though, because this is a par five. Although, when you're having to hit out of the sand trap and into this area with all this stream, it can really cause a bad combination for lowering the attitude of our golfers. That might be why that one guy was so sad, even. Please, Gary Goff. Slow down, boy. No. Dang. So, yeah. <laughs> Just as I'm talking about it, it does happen. Dang, now Gary Goff went from being invincible to being just the saddest golfer around. And even Gary Goff thinks this shot looks too easy. This is a tricky T, or a tricky pin, now that I'm looking at it. Because you can't shoot a high backspin shot at it. Because if you do, because of the uphill nature, it would really take a horrible bounce backwards and if you take just a regular shot then you're going to not get very much roll what is this even sitting at 5.65 yeah it's pretty high up there it's definitely something to look out for when we for the next video that guy's strategy was to shoot at the pin and hope that the bounce helped him out, or the slope helped him out, but he still ended up in the sand trap. Like I said, though, I don't want to make any real adjustments to the course for now. We'll save that for the next video. This is another hole where using a fade shot could be beneficial. But I think I'll just go for it like this. Since this is a par 4, I don't mind people landing in the sand trap here when they go for it, because this is the first shot, and then the second shot will be used going for the tee. And then the third shot could be used even to feasibly make it. Since it's on a slope though, they might not make it on the third shot, so they might make it on the fourth shot. So that's the difference between birdie or par, so not a big deal. This is a par... oh, this is a par 3. Well, 
and it still kind of makes sense. What's actually the stroke average? It's at 4.05. Interesting. I thought I meant for this to be a par 4, actually. I'm surprised it didn't give it to me. I'll definitely change that before the next video. Or during the next video. I think the game... Dang, so we ended up tying for the round overall. Well, that's alright. So like I said, playing the game, or playing as Gary Golf, actually gives you a little bit more insight on how, on some more changes that maybe you should make to your course. Definitely found a couple of those during this round. Anyways, uh, so this video is fairly short, but... Oh, nice. Hole number five is top 100. Easy. But, curious to know what y'all think of this format. I think it might work out pretty well, especially if videos start taking a bit longer to make all the changes that I want to than I had initially expected. <laughs> it's easy to lose your to lose yourself in this game. <laughs> but I think that'll be about it for now. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Peace.